Hello friends and welcome back! I bet you thought that seed dissection was really cool and maybe you still have that seed lying around and you'd like to draw it and talk about its parts. Well, you're gonna need those seeds again then. And you're going to need a piece of blank paper to draw on. You're also going to need some fantastic colored pencils. And what colors do you use? Well, I'm going to be drawing my bean here. I chose some colors that reflect the ones I saw in there. And that's actually the first thing you're going to do. Is choose one of your seeds and go ahead and draw it. I'm choosing that bean and it's got a nice brown on the outside. So I'm going to draw that. Now, if you remember from the last video when we dissected the seed, I told you the name of the outer shell or skin of a seed. Do you remember it? It's called the testa. And its job is to protect the seed. Let's go ahead and label it. the testa. And if you look closely at the pea, you can see that it also has a sort of thicker green skin around it that helps to protect it. Now, once we opened up the seed, we realized that it had this tiny little baby plant in it, what we might call the embryo. So why don't we go ahead and draw that next? I'm gonna actually look at the one that I have to draw it. There's that sort of thick root part, the radical, what's gonna become the root of the baby plant. And there's that sort of feathery part that I saw, the uh, pumule. Now, plumule comes from the word pluma, which means sort of feathery. And if you look closely, it does look very feathery and has just a touch of green because those little bits are going to become the first leaves of the plant. Feel free to put as much detail as you like into your diagram. This is a scientific diagram, so feel free to make it very accurate. Let's go ahead and label this entire piece as being the embryo. And then we can label the plumule and radical separately. And the radical. Radical actually comes from a word radix, which means root. How radical is that? There's only one part left that we haven't labeled in our seed, and it's the biggest one. Remember those food pouches we talked about? Now there's different kinds of seeds, and really two main different kinds of seeds. The kind that break into two parts because they have two of these, and the kinds that don't because they only have one. And as you sprout these two different kinds of seeds, you may notice some other differences as well. We said that this is called the cotyledon. So let's label it. Cotyledon comes from a very old Greek word, which means cup. There we are. Now, if we have two of them, remember we call it a dicot or a dicotyledon. It's pretty fantastic. But if it only has one, like our corn did, 
It's a monocot or a monocotyledon. It only has one of those food pouches. And you'll see one of something else with those, whereas you'll see two of something with those once they sprout. So there's the parts of the seed. Now, maybe you really, really enjoyed this seed, but you'd like to explore the parts of another and draw that. This bean is a, uh, right, a dicot. So what about a monocot? And also, what about if different plants' embryos look a little bit different? I don't know. That's up to you to find out, explorers. Have fun.